Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today we are going to review an interesting piece of military technology, the Chiam-1 missile. Chiam-1, designed and manufactured by Iran, is a short-range ballistic missile that entered service in 2010. This missile is derived from Iran's Shahab-2 missile, which is itself an authorized copy of North Korea's Hwasong-6, both of which are versions of this missile, Soviet Scud C missile. The Chiam-1 is distinguished by its lack of stabilizer fins, which reduce its radar signature, especially during climbs where the fins can act as radar reflectors. This feature also allows to increase in the weight and range of the cargo, which is about 800 kilometers. The missile guidance system is significantly advanced, allowing for precise maneuverability and improved accuracy with a detachable warhead. Join us as we explore the capabilities, deployment, and strategic implications of Chiam-1 in today's discussion. Chiam is a short-range ballistic missile designed and built by Iran. The missile is based on Iran's Shahab-2, a licensed copy of North Korea's Hwasong-6, which are all versions of the Soviet Scud C missile. Chiam-1 entered service in 2010, with a range of 800 kilometers. The Chiam-1 was first seen in an August 2010 teaser, then unveiled at a parade in October 2010. On May 22, 2011, Iranian Defense Minister Ahmad Vahidi announced that the missile was being delivered to the IRGC's Aerospace Force, although a report from the United States indicated the delivery was in May 2010. Chiam-1 is a type of Scud missile. The lack of fins reduces the missile's radar signature, especially during climb, where the fins can act as radar reflectors. The payload weight or missile range can be increased. Without fins and associated drag, the rocket can react more to changes in trajectory. Iranian sources point to the missile's advanced guidance system, and analysts note that adjusting the trajectory of a finless missile requires a highly responsive guidance system. The Chiam 1's accuracy is also improved by the addition of a detachable warhead. Since only the warhead is needed to survive re entry, most missiles have a poorly constructed body that can cause the attached warhead to fall off when the body is detached. The appendages visible in the images of the warhead may indicate antennas for controlling the missile's trajectory by radio. The shape of the Chiam 1 warhead is similar to the one used in Iran's Shahab 3. The baby bottle design can change the center of gravity and center of pressure to compensate for changes in cargo weight from the previous cone-shaped caps. It can increase traction which leads to increased stability on re-entry and potentially increased accuracy. And it can increase the final velocity of the warhead and make it harder to intercept. In an interview with Fars News Agency, Major General Farahi said, The range of Chiam-1 is different according to its mission in the sense that this missile can hit targets at different distances according to its mission plan. Multiple platforms may be used to launch the Chiam-1, and launch and preparation times are reduced compared to other types of SCUDs. Integrating a GPS or other navigation system can be used to reduce setup time and improve accuracy by better locating the missile about its target. The missile warhead can be fitted with submunition telegraphs for anti-bandit use. The error range of the new Chiam-1 missile has been reduced from 100 meters to 50 meters, and the maximum range of the missile has been increased from 700 to 800 kilometers to 1,000 kilometers, km which is the minimum range. According to the information provided, apart from the reduction of CEP, circular error probability, and greater range, the technical characteristics of the new missile have also changed. The upgraded version of the Chiam missile has a 600 kilograms warhead, and can reportedly travel at a speed of 1,935 meters per second. Chiam missile diameter is 888 mm, length is 11,846 mm, and weight is 7,029 kilograms. According to reports, the time to prepare the rocket for launch has also been reduced by 20 minutes. Chiam-1 test launches occurred on August 20th, 2010, February 10th, 2014, and March 9th, 2016. Chiam-1 was first used in combat on June 17th, 2017, when Iran targeted Islamic State militants in Syria in retaliation for an earlier bomb attack in Tehran. At least two rockets hit the headquarters of the Islamic State in Maidan. Also attacked the US-Iraq Al-Assad Air Base in Iraq on January 8th, 2020 
destroying a Black Hawk helicopter, an air traffic control tower, and several tents. The main runway and an MQ-1 Predator drone were damaged. Two American soldiers in guard towers were blown from their posts and injured during the rocket attacks, and it was later revealed that 109 American soldiers suffered brain damage. Some of them were taken to Kuwait and Germany for medical treatment. Long-range versions of the Chiam-1 operated by the Houthis in Yemen have flown more than 900 kilometers. According to the Iranian army, these missiles had cluster warheads. This attack was in retaliation for the killing of General Qasem Soleimani during an attack carried out by the U.S. Air Force with an MQ-9 Reaper drone on January 3, 2020. Houthi forces in Yemen unveiled two Scud-based mobile short-range ballistic missiles, Birkin-1 and Birkin-2. On November 4, 2017, Saudi Arabia claimed to have fired a Birkin 2H over its capital, Riyadh, with MIM-104 Patriot intercepted. According to reports, the target was King Khalid International Airport. According to the U.S. Department of State, this missile was a rebellion. Saudi Arabia's Ministry of Culture and Information provided the Associated Press with images from a military briefing that claimed components of the missile had Iranian markings that matched other photos of Chiam-1. The command of the Joint Forces of the Arab Coalition described the evidence in detail. There have also been reports of Iran's previous attempts to send missiles to Yemen. Thank you for watching.